precious and it's your boy rogers and together we are capturing moments we are creating bonds and building dreams so guys welcome once again actually a lot of people have been asking us what is written on your t-shirts i know it's small but this is called the maweje family. family yes <laughs> it's our brand our brand name or the channel name maweje family so guys here it comes the awaited video remember we promised that we are going to do one educational video once a week wow today is going to be amazing because today we are going to be talking of the three uh, different types of marriages that are out there and if you're out there and you're not married yet you're still single in a relationship you have a chance to choose which kind of marriage would you want for yourself but also if you are married already you also have a chance to shift because it's reversible you can move from this kind of marriage and also to this kind of marriage so i believe you are so much ready for today i tell you buckle up because you're going to learn a lot from today's video yes guys let's dive into it the first kind of marriage is when two people agree to meet together and live together but then it's a man only who is working uh, a wife is at home we call them housewives so this is a good marriage there are people who enjoy it yes. uh, but when you look at the progressive side of it mm. you know because everything is on a man and the lady is just a dependent you find that they don't progress that fast as they would yes. so I, I believe you know you have some examples of such marriages and you can really give a clear picture uh, of uh, this kind of marriage we are talking about yes yes guys uh actually i have a practical example i grew up in Tari. um you know there was a couple where in the situation that my husband explained the marriage that was like that those people were so amazing guys the the wife was a housewife you know she used to go home take care of the kids you know making sure everything at home is in order the man was the breadwinner uh working and he was okay with it they, they were actually amazing that was one of the couples actually i used to admire i loved that couple but you know that couple is good but when something unexpected happens to the man's side who is the breadwinner uh things can fall apart easily why because i remember there was a time in zimbabwe when they started retrenching workers and the husband was part of that retrenchment. It took them a month to survive on what they had built already. But within a month, they fell like from 100 to 5, just like that. And sometimes, you know, there are people that you really hear that, you know, these people, they used to own this, they used to be like this, but now they are on zero, you see. Yeah, I'm sure that's the example I can give the that it's a very wonderful marriage it's a very good marriage there are people who enjoy it but looking on the progressive side of it really uh, it's a bit slow and also in case something unexpected happens it can really become uh, a tragic um event and people or couples can marriages can easily fall and some can even separate from there yeah that's true that's true uh the example you have given in fact, uh, also uh, where I grew up from, my mother used to be a housewife. So we used to depend on our father. But that time when our father died, uh, you know, everything turned to zero. So we used to struggle now because our mother now, she didn't know even how to figure out life. So sometimes it's good, but you also need to look on the other side of it. Yes, but that is the first kind of marriage. If you're a good fit there or if you're living that kind of marriage, you can look at all those sides and you see how best you can live. Yes, guys, let's dive into our second kind of marriage. Now, these are two people that uh, they are both earning. A wife is earning and a, uh, a husband is also earning. You get a point and uh, they are working of course this one is getting money this one is getting money but they are working in parallel lines they don't have a point of agreement 
you you understand and they are always in competition because you find that maybe a, a, a lady is earning more or a man is earning more everyone is competing or even comparison mm -hmm. comparison that is what kills most of the time was the progress of these two people so it's a wonderful marriage of course uh, there are people who enjoy it but uh, it kills a bit of progress no matter how much money you can be making both of you but if you don't come to the point of agreement you you understand and giving everyone a chance it is it kills the progress i'm sure uh, my my beautiful wife can give you all the examples of such people who get to such a marriage yeah yes 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 guys so i'm just going to give a real examples really uh you know there are people who come together one is a lawyer i don't know how it happens but people of same profession they have a tendency of marrying each other one is a lawyer one is a lawyer one is a doctor doctor one is an engineer engineer and sometimes it can be one a doctor one an engineer those people you know they make so much money you know they make so much money this one is earning so much this one is earning so much but when you try to look you know we believe that when i see such people i believe that you know what those are the people who are supposed to boom right away so much money so much money boom they rise but the progressive side of it really is not that much good because there is too much pulling of each other so yeah that's the kind of example i can give that you are in different professions that are making so much money you're earning you're earning more but really looking at the progressive side of it you wonder how how this couple should be up there but they are they are not there because of that the competition yeah yeah that's true the example you have given mostly the professionals marry professionals yes <laughs> and you find that everyone has an ego <laughs> you understand they have an ego so they don't even the respect you know is not much they can respect yes but the point of agreement is very important always when a couple wants to progress yes. in life yes now the third kind of marriage is the most interesting by the way this is a kind of marriage where still these two people the wife and the husband uh maybe they are getting uh income from different sources but now after all the sources they have gotten all the money they have gotten they have a point of meeting most of the times we call them couple goals okay there is maybe a project or projects they agree to work on together yes. you, you, you understand mm -hmm. and you know what they do mm -hmm. is they identify their strengths they don't compete because they know they are one so if it's win they win together yes. if they are progressing they are progressing together so this type of, of of couple they are always in agreement and they always respect everyone's strengths and weaknesses okay yeah. if a, a, a woman is leading here a man can lead here but is still on the same mission and on the same goal so that is the kind of couple really as we have made research and we see that when it comes to progress they raise faster and they grow faster you can even imagine people they they get together and they start doing things together and guess what they progress faster they might not even be making a lot of money yes. than the other parallel ones but the progress is really really, really faster so i believe uh, you have examples of such people or such marriages that gets together that way and builds in that way yes my wife i know she's a good she's she's good <laughs> in making research and um, she's ready to educate you more on this by the way this could be one of the best type or kind of marriage that us as a couple we could recommend yeah because she has good examples you can tell them yes yes guys i'm just going to give you an example that i was given before i was lucky enough i knew that before even getting married so when i ended in marriage with my husband really it didn't take us time to come along 
You know, I want to give an example of a horse. Do you know that one week horse, that is a beast, can pull over 8,000 pounds alone? Can you imagine? One beast horse can pull over 8,000 pounds alone. But guess what? Do you know the exciting part of it? If two work horses, the same horses, two of them, they decide to work side, they work side by side, they can pull over 24,000 pounds, which is even three times better than what one horse can do. I tell you, and the most other turning point and exciting things, if these two work horses, they were trained before, you know, together, they were trained before to work side by side, guess what? They can even pull over 32,000 pounds, which is even four times much better than what one horse can do. So I, I, I can, you can see from this example that teamwork is important really teamwork is the best i'm sure my husband can say it maybe in kind of marriage what what that yeah. relates to yeah yeah in fact guys the truth is uh the example she has given is very important yes uh we have given an example of the first marriage where it's now one one workhorse yes. you, you understand that is 800 pounds 8000 8, pounds mm. But now, uh, when the two comes together, they work together, they can carry over how many? The second one, 24,000 24, pounds. pounds. Mm. But when they are trained, they can even carry four more yes. times than the other one that can carry. So when it comes to marriage and the couple goes, you know, when you decide to get your partner, okay, make sure you, you agree. Because trust me, this life you have decided to live it together. Yes. You understand? Even if you are making money from different sources, it's very important to really come together and have those goals together, yes. decide and pull each other, yes. work side by side, get trained to work side by side, such that you can do four times more yes. than what one can do, That's or true. than what, you know, you know, yes, one can do, because sometimes we are so selfish in our marriages, maybe a man or a woman, and we still, we don't know that this selfishness is just uh, limiting our progress. Yes. So if you are deciding to get married or if you're married already, mm. consider these three kinds of marriages. Yes. The first one, if it works for you, that is okay, but we have showed you. Uh, if the second one works for you, that is okay, but we have also showed you our side. So when we met, uh, she knew it before, I knew it before, and immediately we came together and we made a decision that yes we can be earning from different sources but there is some things we can do together and push and pull up together yeah. guys this is what we had for you today and we think that this has been so much educative to someone who is considering to get married and those who are married already you can think about this and see because by the end of the day we want a good life by the end of the day we want to live a happy life by the end of the day we want to see our partners or our families happy so yes. that's why we came up with this discussion and education to help you make a better choice thank you so much yes 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 at the end of the day as well we want to see other marriages they progress so as my husband said if you are not yet married consider choosing what kind of marriage would you want but if you are married already consider you can shift it's reversible you can move from this to this yeah. you see so thank you so much guys tomorrow we yes. have another lit video make sure you tune in actually we usually post um around four or 16 hours between four uh, to six that is 18 hours so you can check there uh, our videos every single day we are coming with the best so yeah. thank you so much we love you Mwah. Mwah.